I want to talk about interior and exterior scenes and how you approached both of them. Um, let's start with exterior because something that always fascinates me is how you can create a scary scene in an exterior. I think a lot of people feel like if it's horror, if it's thriller, it has to be dark, it has to be moody, there needs to be shadows, and you can't, you need to be, it needs to be mysterious in a way. I feel like you are able to do all of those things in daylight, and I'd love to hear your thoughts on that and kind of how you made that happen in your lighting and camera and movement choices. Yeah, I mean, I think that, um, you know, so much of it does go down to, you know, the language of the camera and also the editing, you know, um, and, you know, sort of the coverage that you choose to get in order to be able to create that jump scare. Um, I mean, the exteriors, you know, they were handled in different ways in the daytime. Um, you know, the one at the steel mill, um, you know, that was such a, um, it was a vast scene, you know, like the action of the um, characters running so quickly um, once she um, trips the wire with her foot, you know, and the, and the bottles fall. Um, it was such a complicated scene to shoot because um, we had to be able to move with the actors in, in such a quick way. And the ground was so um, unruly. Um, and it was real, really important for John to be able to be like wide and close with them, um, which is which is complicated to do in the ground like that. So we had to fly massive um, cranes with overhead fly swatters um, diffusion um, up above them in order to recreate the um, the natural shade of of the structure of the steel mill that came across at a certain part of the day. Mm. Um, and the steel mill itself was um, full of coal and asbestos. So it was a very wow. limiting, um, limiting environment. But, um, you know, it's just all about like moving the camera, um, staying wide and close with them, um, often trying to, you know, create the source of danger in the same frame or in the same shot with those who were in danger. So it wasn't just like a cutaway or an insert or anything like that to, you know, what was the source of danger. It was more just like very long um, shots that would kind of like include those two things in the same um, shot. So, um, you know, it wasn't, we weren't necessarily at times basing things on editing because um, we wanted to not let the viewer escape from the creature just like the characters couldn't. Um, so, you know, that was a, sp a particular scene. And then when uh, Regan was walking to the, um, the train carriage through the train station, you know, that was just chosen to sort of be tracking with her slowly and, and sort of discover the world with her as the foreground um, remnants of the people that had, you know, been attacked on the, on the train platform and, you know, stay behind her in the train carriage. And, you know, you get the jump scare with the birds in the train, um, so, you know, everything was really just trying to stay with these characters and, you know, when something jumped out at them, you know, we would jump out of our seats also. I love that. And yeah, I think, I think another thing that you were able to do is you were saying just a moment ago, having the threat and the, you know, I guess the, the hero and the threat in the same shot so that you're always kind of in their environment. But you had this really weird situation in this film where, the threat was kind of everywhere all the time. There was never a moment of peace. Like these people just never got a break. It was constant, constant looker over your shoulder. You can't even make a noise. And you were able to really create this feeling of fear at all times. It was unrelenting. Um, and when I was watching it, I was thinking to myself, I'm like, why do I feel nervous all the time? And I think part of what you were doing was you sort of created these large, vast environments where our characters felt small and unprotected in a lot of places. And I don't know if I was just reading too far into it, but was there something to that in your exteriors of making it feel big so that they feel small? <laughs> 